electrolysis tank again. I've got a good old Pratt rest drill in there. It's in pretty rough shape, kind of rusty and stiff and just going to put it in the tank and dip it for a while. Probably going to have to wire brush it after I get done to get rid of the gunk and grease and things which insulate and don't rust out, don't remove the rust underneath them. But you can see that it's a pretty simple tank. I got the battery charger set on 10 amps. 10 amps, 12 volts. It's not drawing anything, but the tank is bubbling. See the bubbles rising up. It's going to be a slow process. It doesn't happen quickly, but it's not doing anything anyways. It's just going to sit there and take care of itself. Put some baking soda in the water. Those are three tent pegs. Uh, held together with uh, some quick clamps onto the bucket. And then I took a jumper cable and jumped the two blacks, black and black, and then red and red, and then put the red line from the battery charger onto that wire over there. And we should be cooking. So I'll come back and check this tomorrow. See what happens. Had a poor connection. So I had to come out and reattach the wires and make sure that I had a good connection between all the three ground posts and the wires. And then I had to reset the clamp on the, the drill itself. Now I'm getting some action out of it. Since this was a $5 drill and in pretty bad shape, I thought it was a prime candidate for doing a little bit of learning. I removed the chuck spindle and it's held in with a straight pin. A straight pin that goes through the whole board right down through the middle of the gear and through the spindle. When I removed the spindle, I I figured that there were bearings inside, and I thought that there were ball bearings, and I was right. There's a ring of ball bearings at the top, and a ring of ball bearings at the bottom. Looks like one of the ball bearings at the top got out of position. I don't know if somebody tried to disassemble it and put it back together incorrectly or what, but there was a little bit of shuck in the, in the assembly. I thought, well, there shouldn't be. The cone bearing, which interestingly enough is very similar to the kind of bearing that you find on the front wheel of a bicycle. Except in a bicycle, you're going to find the bearings held within a metal frame rather than being loose in the race. Now I'm going to get the opportunity to clean up the bearings and put them back together again with a good grade of grease because these kind of bearings normally are greased. I don't know if this uh, type of device was meant to be oiled. Uh, if it's meant to be oiled then I would think that there would be oil grooves in the bearings and or if it was meant to be oiled I would believe that there would be an, an oil spout or oil port in the bearings and there doesn't appear to be one. like somebody put in too many bearings in the top and 
lift one out of the bottom because there's one jammed up in there and then there's one that's been actually stuffed into the race right there and we're one short to the bottom Up. there's the one bearing so we're only one short to the bottom just like I thought This, this shows too short on the bearing, but there's one down there in the cup. So I'm going to get the opportunity to clean these, and reassemble it with copper grade grease, and we'll see what happens. This is the first one of these that I've had apart. This one also has a little trolley wheel on there. That, and this one, the trolley wheel moves fairly well. So I think I'm just going to clean that up and oil it. I'm not going to try and take that one apart or take it out. The way I managed to disassemble it, I was able to drive the shaft out of the gear. And then pull the shaft loose. Move the gear. Pull the chuck spindle out. I'm trying to be careful so I don't drop any of it balls out of the bearing. Any more of the balls out of the bearing. Once I did that, there you are. I'm going to take care of the rest of that tomorrow. It's getting kind of late tonight and I got things to do. But now the mystery of how one of those goes together is solved, at least for me, and now for you. Thanks for watching.